Patty Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to draw a Greek vase. I'm going to take two fingers from the top right here in the center and put a dot. And from that dot I'm going to draw a straight line to the left, go back to the dot, straight line to the right. I come back to the left and I draw a straight line down, big curve line down, curve line in, little curve line out, straight line. I come back on the right hand side. I'm going to mimic the same line I just drew. I draw a straight line down, big curve line out, little curve line in, straight line, connect. I come back to the top and on the left hand side I'm going to draw a big curve line out, in, connect on the left, come on the right hand side, big curve line out, in, connect on the right. I come back to the left and I draw a curve line, connect on the left, and a curve line, connect on the right. I'm going to put little straight lines to divide up this space on the right, little straight lines to divide up the space on the left. I come down to the center and we're going to do repeating patterns. <clears throat> First I draw a straight line, straight line, come up to the very top, draw me one, two, three, four, five baby circles. I come down to this section and I draw one, two, one, two, straight lines, one, two, straight lines, one, two, straight lines. I come down a little bit further and I draw a curved line, curved line, curved line, connect. I draw a straight line across. I come down towards the center and I draw another straight line across. Inside the big section, I'm going to go zig, zag, zig, zag, zig, zag, connect. I come down to the next section and I draw a straight line across. And I come back up and I draw a curved line out, curved line in, curved line out, curved line in, curved line out curve line in. I draw another straight line across, another straight line across, and I go one, two, one, two straight lines, one, two straight lines, one, two straight lines across, draw another straight line, zig, zag, zig, zag, zig, zag, connect, and at the very bottom I'm just going to put one, two, one, two, one, two, straight lines. It's basically a repeating pattern. You can put different patterns in it if you would like. This is the easiest. Okay, let's see how we're going to color this in. You're only going to use a brown crayon and you're going to do A, B, A, B, A, B patterns on all of your decorations. I like to color in everything first. Then I come back in and do the little details. So you're going to work your way down. Work your way down. Go around your designs one color. That's how they did it back then. All the way down. And you can use any brown you want. Just make sure you're consistent in the color all the way down. Now once you've done that, you come back in with your black and you color in 
your opposite details. So you end up with an AB, AB pattern all the way across. Take your time. Make sure you fill everything in completely. Every section will have the pattern with the black colored in. Okay, let's see what this looks like all colored in. Here's my Greek vase all colored in. As you can see, it's pretty simple but a very dynamic finish when you get done, which is pretty amazing just using two colors. You can always go online, look up Greek vases, and you'll see other design elements you can add. Okay, bye-bye.